We have a Dr. Erica on the line with St. Vincent Healthcare. And Dr. Erica, a lot of people are concerned about COVID-19 right now, as they should be, but there's something else given the time of year that they should be cautious about. What is it? I've heard a lot of people worried about insect bites and they've been camping and traveling and everyone always has questions, especially here in Montana where we do have a wide array of insects and biting, <laughs> um, flying things that can... So first we're going to just talk about um, when to seek medical attention. I want to get that out there first. The biggest concern is anaphylaxis and people have probably heard this, but that's a severe allergic reaction. And it's more than just swelling at the site of the bite. It's going to be more a systemic problem where people's airways start to swell and close, their heart rate goes up, their blood pressure drops. And that can happen with an allergic reaction to primarily bees, wasps, hornets, and those pens around with them. Obviously you need to treat with an EpiPen and go to the emergency department. The other dangerous bite that you can get out there are black widow bites. They're very rare, but they are dangerous and especially in children and the elderly um, can be more life-threatening. You would want to seek medical attention after a black widow bite as well and we'll talk about that a little more in a second. And then finally, if you have any kind of a bite that has worsening redness or swelling or purulent drainage, especially after about 48 hours, you could have a secondary bacterial infection that you would want to see the doctor about. So I put together a slide here. First, bees, wasps, hornets, and horseflies. You can actually see a picture of my son when he was younger, when he was riding his bike and got stung as one flew in his mouth. Oh. And so his lips swelled up. That actually was a little bit more of a dangerous situation just because of the location of the bite, but he is not allergic to the bites. He was just having a normal reaction to it. But we gave... Um, the primary prevention is just staying away from them, keeping on the right clothing. Um, if it does happen, putting a little bit of a baking soda um, paste could help pull some of the um, the venom or at least just soothe the area. I'll um, for more allergic reactions and swelling, topical hydrocortisone for the itch as well. Um, the next is spiders, and I just put the black widow spider on here, and the picture on that slide also is from our front porch when my kids wanted me to come and take a look at the big spider on the front porch, and then I realized they were looking at the black widow the whole time. <laughs> Here in but so they really only bite if they're threatened um, as a defense mechanism. So watching out for wood piles in the dark areas of the garage and everything. Um, in the winter time, they can come inside. But um, this also can be dangerous. If you get bit by a black widow, you can see their real shiny black plump body. And then of course on the bottom, there's the characteristic red hourglass, but sometimes it's hard to see their belly when they're on the side of your house like that. So make sure you know what they look like from the back as well. You can get really bad pain, swelling at the site of the bite, and then bad cramping of the abdomen or even the chest muscle tightness and cramping and in severe situations people can have seizures so you would want to go to um, the local or the closest emergency um, department if you were to be bit by a black widow as well um, mosquitoes of course i think we all are very familiar with mosquitoes so I don't have much to say on that other than DEET is really the chemical that will keep them away. Um, the picaridin can help a little bit, but if you're in a really mosquito dense region, you may just wanna spring for the, the big guns with the DEET. Um, topical hydrocortisone cream, even Benadryl, if you have a bunch of bites or they're swelling and um, on my kids, sometimes it keeps them up at night, I'll give them Benadryl at night to help. I put in a little um, medical kit with stuff that I travel with um, and so for other people just to make sure you have all of the right tools including the Benadryl, the hydrocortisone cream, Pepsid um, which we think of just for our stomach actually can help during an allergic reaction because it has a histamine blocker as well. Um, antibiotic ointment can be helpful, the antiseptic cleaner so that you can take care of it until you can seek medical help. Uh, help if needed. Just keeping in mind that some of these can swell up for up to 48 hours until they start to go down. It doesn't mean it's infected or that you're allergic to it. It's just that they can pack them for sure. But come see us if there's any concerns about secondary infections or dangerous bites. All right. We'll do. Dr. Erica, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back after the break.